With nesting just around the corner, I thought a quick facts video about black-capped chickadee nests would be nice. Although it's about black-capped chickadees, much about their nesting habits are similar to other chickadees. Hope you enjoy. For chickadees, choosing a spot to build a nest is a little like us buying a home. Most people don't settle on the first home they look at. Instead, we kind of look around a bit. Chickadees, too, look around for a nesting place. Well, actually, the female does, which typically begins in late March. Once the female has chosen a spot, her mate then defends the surrounding territory of roughly three to seven hectares from intruders. One way that he does this is by singing the Fabi song. Letting other males know this place is occupied. And if his song alone doesn't get the message across to a particularly bold and desperate male, he will fight. This is a last resort though, and doesn't seem to happen often. With a nesting spot settled on, the pair then begins digging out a hole in a rotted section of a dead stump, roughly 1 to 12 feet above the ground. Sometimes they may nest 30 to 60 feet up in the dead parts of live trees, or old abandoned hollows from other cavity nesting birds. Trees of choice tend to be alder or birch. Nest boxes are also readily used by chickadees, but not an empty one. They are more likely to choose a nest box with wood shavings and sawdust inside. After 7 to 10 days, the pair has hollowed out a cavity 5 inches deep. This is where the female builds the cup-shaped nest for the next four to five days. She will collect coarse material such as moss for the foundation. And then later, softer material such as rabbit fur for the lining. If a cavity is rather large, Chickadees will compensate for this by filling it in several inches deep with insulating material. Locating nest material can be time costly for chickadees and other birds, but people can help them. Chickadees will take pet fur. After brushing your dog or cat, ball up the fur and leave it in the yard for them to collect. When nest building is done, anywhere from 1 to 12 white eggs with speckles are laid. They measure 1.5 centimeters in length and just a little over a centimeter in width. For the next 12 days, the female alone will incubate them. The male provides her food during this time. At 12 days, hatching begins. This is the nestling stage and it lasts for 12 to 16 days. During this time, the male and female brings food to the nest hole. They are so busy coming back and forth that often they run into each other.
If a predator, such as a chipmunk, should come around, one of the parent birds will give a chickadee alarm call to warn of the threat. If it is too close, the male may start swaying back and forth while hitting its wings, perhaps in an attempt to scare off the predator. It may not look like much, but when you're as tiny as a chickadee is, you have to do what you can and hope for the best. If all goes well, the nestlings will fledge at around 15 days after hatching, braving the big new world, but not alone, not yet at least. The parents continue to care for the fledglings for another month, showing them all that they know to help them when they are on their own. So that's some nest facts about these lovely little birds. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Happy birding!